Okay, I need some answers now. These guys just barged in here and said they were under orders to keep me here until you arrived. I'm about five seconds away from telling my men to take them down, so speak fast. And I suppose they want me to help see that happen? That seems pretty reasonable. This is bull. Why are we even talking about dealing with these guys? Pace, this isn't really a good time to have this discussion. Wrong. This is exactly the right time. I'm about to prevent you from making a huge I... mistake. Pace, don't do this. I won't stand with you if you do. Then I'll stand on my own, just like I always have. Just like a king should. And you, bringing these assholes in here like you're doing us some kind of favor. You can take your new friends and get the hell out of here, because the answer is no. The kings will never deal with trash from the NCR. Not anymore, it isn't. He's not in his right mind if he's even thinking about making a deal with this scum. Uh, no. We would never survive. We need to stick together. I'll go with whatever the Kang decides, but I'll be watching these NCR scumbags like a hawk. If they try anything. We'll deal with that should the time come, Pace. Now, I'm sure these gentlemen are as anxious to get out of here as we are to see them go. That's a little Hector, huh? Gotta think for little kids. We saw you follow the kid in there. Figured we teach you a lesson. Right. No big deal. We're gonna beat the hell out of you now. But don't worry. We don't think it's a big deal either. Howdy. Watch out! out. I'm sorry about being so dismissive about your suggestion before. I thought a lot about what you said. There have been times when just a little bit of money from a stranger would have made a huge difference to me. So I get where you're coming from. Maybe I could make that kind of difference for someone else. Ah, uh, who am I kidding? You really think so, pal? I'll start looking into it. I bet I can help a lot of people around here. Oh, hey. Didn't think I'd see you here. I decided to stop scrounging for caps and start making a difference. The followers have been really great. There's always something that needs to be done, and everyone here treats me really well. Sorry if you stopped by my old spot looking for info. I've been so busy lately that I haven't heard anything. Anyway, feel free to stay as long as you like. I've got to get back to work. Oh, you can't miss her. She has short red hair and she's the most beautiful woman who ever lived. You'd really talk to her for me? You should go talk to Blake or Alice. They handle most of our contact with visitors. I watch all sorts of things with my binoculars. Who wants to know? And why? Nice looking blonde boy? I always wondered if he was watching me back. What's he like? Really? <laughs> That's so sweet. I'd love to go meet him. Is there any way the boomers would let me visit Nellis? Really? Thank you so much. I'll get going right away. You're a terrible person. I loved her. And you let her run right into our kill zone. Why didn't you stop her? Oh, my sweet, blameless Red. Curse the walls of Nellis. Curse our guns and isolation. Her blood is on our hands. Only if we stop shelling everyone who comes close will some good come from this tragedy. If you'll excuse me.
Oh, hi. Thanks again for helping us with that data. I mean, the feed only lasted about 30 seconds, and it's not that useful, but... Well, we tried. After two tries, I think I've learned enough. I'm sure there's something more promising I could be helping the other followers with. Uh, oh yeah. I didn't tell you about the first time. I'd rather not talk about it if you don't mind. True. All right. The first try was a little less professional. Someone important on the Strip had access to some of House's technology. Specifically, a Securitron. And more specifically, the someone was Benny. I know, I know, he shot you in the head and everything. But this was a while ago. I knew he was sleazy, but I didn't realize he was so cold-blooded. Ugh, so gross. It was bad enough that I didn't get any data out of the Securitron. This is why I didn't want to talk about it. It only happened once. I chalk it up to sleep deprivation and one atomic cocktail too many. That's sweet of you to say, even if it isn't true. much to tell. We're a bunch of guys that just want to do our own thing. And anyone who's got a problem with that can shove it. It ain't much to look at, but this dump has something that even the strip doesn't. And that's absolute freedom. You go other places, and there's always someone screaming at you to act a certain way or to not do certain things. Free side's not like that. Everyone here is free to do whatever they want. And I, for one, wouldn't want it any other way. What about it? If someone takes your stuff, you're free to take it back. If you can't, maybe you shouldn't have come to Freeside in the first place. We do what we want, just like everybody else. We just have more guys, so other people tend to do what we want, too. If somebody does something we don't like, we let them know about it. If they're strong enough not to care about us liking it, good for them. Well, the Van Graffs for one. We had a slight difference of opinion when they first showed up. Changed our minds pretty quick after a brief demonstration of how much firepower they're packing. We could probably take them, but we'd lose a lot of guys doing it. <laughs> That's old news. I had some fun with that girl that runs their operation, and then I got tired of her, so I moved on. But she don't like that, see? Normally, I bet she'd just have a guy killed for doing that, but as you can see, I'm still around. Most people think it's because she doesn't want to start an all-out war with us, but that ain't it at all. She still got it bad for me. Why do you scare my cattle? Don't scare the herd! There, in the corral! Yes, the herd! Doggies alone. Doggies? <laughs> 